Hey guys, it's Lazarus here, and in today's video, we'll be talking all about the Emperor Tetras. They're also known as the Kerai Tetras and the Royal Tetras, and they're such a cool little schooling fish. Let's dive straight into the video. Emperor Tetras are a fairly popular aquarium fish. They are in the Tetra family, so they do like to school, and they make a great centerpiece in aquariums. There are a few varieties out there, such as the purple varieties, the blue varieties, and the standards, along with the black varieties that you're looking at right now. So these guys originate from Western Colombia, so they inhabit forests and tannin stained waters. So if you want to get the best coloration out of your blue Emperor Tetras and all the ones that aren't the blacks basically, then you can put in some Indian almond leaves or some just leaves from the garden to make the water brown, but it does make a pretty cool effect and the Emperor Tetras will look so cool. So when it comes to the tank requirements, these guys will thrive in a pH from 5.5 to 7.5. They can also take temperatures from 22 to 28 degrees Celsius. Now these guys grow to a maximum size of five centimeters. So they're a bit of your bigger Tetra, so they can go with bigger fish, but you'll need a minimum tank size of 20 gallons, as since these guys are schooling fish, they need to be in schools and if you have a school of six and you'll need extra room. I recommend a group of five or more. I recommend no less. The more Emperor Tetras there are, the more you'll see them out and about. So there's a tip for you there. Now with the tank mates, these guys are so peaceful. They can go with any small to medium aquarium fish. So since they are quite a bigger Tetra, they can go with a bit of your larger aquarium fish. I wouldn't keep them with fish any bigger than 12 centimeters though. Um, as long as the fish that you're keeping with them aren't too aggressive or else they might pick on the emperor tetras and you don't want that to happen so i recommend small to medium peaceful community fish now these guys aren't picky with their foods they do have fairly small mouths so you need to make sure that you feed them foods that aren't too small they'll take any frozen foods and any small live foods as well they also love tropical fish flakes and all sorts of nutritious foods make sure the food you're feeding them has lots of nutrition as these guys need it to develop really great coloration now to identify male and females, the males will be slim and usually have blue fins. You more have to look for the slim when you have the black and protectors, but also with the females, the females will be more plump and they'll have red fins usually. Now to breed these guys is not too hard. Move the breeder and protectors to a separate breeding tank or use a hang on breeder box if you don't have the room. Condition them with live foods to trigger spawning and have the pH at a steady 5.5 to 6.5. And to lower the pH, just add some Indian almond leaves, other leaves, or even sticks. Provide moss or marbles in the tank as Emperor Tetras are egg scatterers. Or when they lay the eggs, take the Tetras straight out, just as long as the parents can't get to the eggs once they've scattered them. Marbles on the bottom of the tank are probably the best option. The eggs should hatch within 48 hours and then feed them off powder food for a couple of weeks and then you can start feeding them baby brown shrimp. So overall, these fish are quite a cool, great centerpiece for your aquarium. They stand out and they are quite a unique one compared to most of your fish. You should find them at most pet stores. I can find them at lots of my big box stores around here, here in Australia, so they are easy to find, but some places might be harder to find than other places. Well, overall, if you're looking for a more unique, bigger tetra for your heavily planted community aquarium, then definitely consider getting the Emperor Tetras. Thanks so much for watching, guys. If you enjoyed the video, then please give a thumbs up and subscribe for more content just like this. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments down below. Have a great day, and I'll see you all in the next video.